Chart Update 1st April 2020 A sad day that I wish was an April Fool's story. Peter Hitchens reports via the Times UK that the government has reduced coronavirus death predictions from 500,000 to 5,700. But only if we keep following the rules. Lockdown. Viewers of our other videos will know that this is in line with our estimates by analysis of Hubei finished and Italy, Germany, Norway and UK charts without lockdown. We know from our charts precisely where the UK, trailing Italy, is headed. Our no lockdown estimates are 4,508 deaths per Hubei at the 6% UK death rate, 6,064 per Italy current and 10,269 from Italy projected. We were headed for these totals anyway, with no lockdown. But now the government says it's thanks to lockdown. They ignored the real world when they came up with their 530,000 or 510,000 figures, and that got us locked down in our homes. Within days, they started downgrading their numbers to 250,000, then 20,000, now 5,700, and nobody bats an eyelid. Except Peter Hitchens, it seems. But sadly, he doesn't seem to have the charts or the data to back up his rightly dismissive attitude. We do, but reaching these opinion makers seems to be an uphill struggle. And so we watch as the government takes credit for something that was going to happen anyway not exactly a happy day. Against which the thank yous and appreciation from viewers make it a much lighter day. So let's look at the charts. Check our previous update for Hubei Italy scenario projections for your country. They're still going to be reasonable for the moment. Here's Italy green, Germany red, UK pink and Norway blue. The UK projection is as yet unaffected by lockdown and matching nicely with Italy and Norway. We were always headed for 3,500 to 10,000, nothing like the 530,000 we were told to be scared of. Italy and Norway show strong curl over, the crisis is over, just not the cases. Germany is finally showing pronounced curl over and the UK a shallower but still noticeable curl over. A little patience or less agenda and we'd have been clear with the others. I'm going to put each chart full screen for a few moments without commentary in case you want to pause the video and do a screen capture. I've also started to post them on the Peerless Reads Facebook page though these may not be there yet. Or you can friend me on Facebook and dot romeda at virgin.net. Here's Sweden, pale blue, Ireland brown, Spain red and France, French blue, naturellement. Italy is left up for reference. Sweden, France and Spain all showing strong curl over, Ireland moderate curl over. Spain is a concern as it's shooting up through Italy, that's disappointing but it is curling over. A reminder, the height is the number of cases per 100 million population. The gradient is the rate of growth and curl over curvature is the flattening that says the growth is slowing down. Switzerland dark blue, Netherlands gold, Turkey red and Russia pale blue. Switzerland and Netherlands have great curl over. I should do some peak analysis to see if they're at peak. Russia and Turkey show modest curl over. Russia with very few cases Turkey's rate of climb is a bit of a concern. Looks like it's headed for Italy Hubei levels. Thailand pink, South Korea dark blue, and Japan red. Korea looks amazing. Nailed it all over. Gives us our second completed reference country or region alongside Hubei. Japan is at an extremely low base, which is excellent but it's climbing and curling the wrong way, which is not. Thailand is interesting, surging, 
now moderated, but not curling over so much as climbing at a reduced ca um, rate. Careful, Thailand. Philippines grey, Australia gold, and New Zealand blue. Should have been all black, sorry about that. Philippines looks good, but has relapsed, now climbing steadily, even increasing perhaps. Hopefully it'll curl over before reaching Italy, who buy levels. Australia's clearly had enough, a long climb, no curl over, and it's just shut down. Very pronounced curl at the very end. Good on you, cobbers, don't relapse. New Zealand had an alarming run, but also has a very pronounced curl over, and I'm glad to say they're beating Australia. Keep it up. And finally, the country that's threatening to sue or invade China for starting this, the good old USA. Plus ça change, fellas. America in dark blue, Israel in pale blue, Canada red, Brazil pink, and Mexico dark grey. And that's about it. Just maybe, though, there's some good news. We actually need to zoom in. It's so ambiguous. You guys in the US, Canada, and Israel are really making this difficult. Israel, I'd say, has finally got some curl over, just coming shy of Hubei. The US, I'd say that's a hint, but we need the next data point again. Canada, beloved friend, what are you doing? You're better than this, I know you are. Give it up and curl over. All three of you, anytime now, please. Yet again, as before, the loudest voices not leading the world in the virus, just because you're big doesn't mean you're leading, are the ones that are pretty much the only ones, as I'm sure you've noticed, that aren't curled over. A hint, but... But we did our social distancing, lockdown, blame China, everything. I've even heard from a viewer telling me of vigilantes cutting down a tree to block the road to stop people getting out of the village. Naturally, when drivers got out of their cars to move the tree, the vigilantes emerged duly armed, only in America. Let me show you something. This is everyone climbing through 500 to 1,000 cases on the same day. In other words, we've synchronized the charts. Notice something. Different countries, yet everyone's hugging the same line. It's a machine, a biological machine. It does its thing. Here's Korea and Japan. Korea has nailed it. Japan is low, but not quite. This is what we want to get to, sticking out flat, but most will do it at Hubei levels, at the top. These are sticking out level, Japan a bit of a concern, but at much lower levels. Excellent job or fortunate. But here's what I want to show you. Firstly, all those countries, when you sink their 500 day, don't they look a lot alike for the most part? So many people come onto the videos and comment, stupid, you're ignoring lockdown, it's lockdown that saved us. Really? So if you're one of those, you'll be able to name these two perfect lockdown countries. Look at them. Much lower progression than the others in their group. And check their curl over, curvature. Kind of clunky, but they rose quickly, then at 45 degrees for a while, now 30, for, sorry, 30 degrees for a while. A perfect demonstration of lockdown slowing the growth of the virus. So go ahead and name them. Yep, everyone's saying how Sweden's taking a risk with no lockdown measures. Well, that's Sweden and Norway both massively curled over at a low level. If they don't relapse, they'll be done well below 1,000 cases per million population. Hubei is 114,000, and Italy has passed Hubei, heading for 260,000. Meantime, the good old USA shouting loud, and I need a microscope to see if you might have some curl over. I don't know. Given the UK government or Imperial College lied to you, exaggerating the risk 162 times, just like they lied to us to get us into lockdown, maybe you should reconsider what you're being told. Believe me, I'll do a Gina Miller and sue there if I can. But hey, 
If you want to join in, that's fine by me. They're the ones selling lockdown. Sweden didn't need it. How's it working out for you? But hey, Booker, you've been incredibly patient. Here's South Africa red and Algeria blue. SA looks good, frankly. Check that hook like Oz. Just had enough and boom, curl over. Pretty damn flat. Well done, Booker. Lekker man. Algeria, not really got a handle on it. Still climbing. It's been worse, but it's still going. Finally, Iran red, Iraq mauve, Pakistan gold and India dark blue. Iran has always been of interest as one of the earliest major and mature exposures like Italy and it's curled over nicely. What's not so nice is that straight line at the end. That's a relapse not slowing down. Come on guys. Indeed, look at all four, so much so that I'm going to check my spreadsheet. The data's good, and yes, all four are indeed somewhat linear, which is actually geometric on a log scale, or constant growth, no curl over. Pakistan has only a recent linear segment and could be in a highly developed curl over if the next data points are good. Iran and Iraq have both relapsed. India at 100 cases per 100 million is 100 times better off than E.G. Hubei at 114k per 100 million. A lot of people have said, wait till India gets going. Well, that's now apparently. That's it. We do an update every three days. So the next update will be for the 4th of April data, typically available late UK time. By the time I've done the charts and prepped the video, it should be up the day after, 5th of April. Let us know if your country isn't included. It's not like we like typing in data. But if you've taken the trouble to watch, I'll be honoured to keep you up to date. Just send us a request by email, better, or post a comment. I do try to check in. Thank you for listening or watching. I'm Andrew Mather, a 60-year-old Brit, mathematician, financier, technologist, husband, biker, pilot, healer, whatever. A bunch of stuff. Take care. Feel free to get in touch, andrew at peerlessreads.com or andrewamather.com. Either should get to me.